You know, Captain Dale Black, I interviewed, uh, what, last week? He was a, a TWA captain, a pilot. And um, he, he's, a, he's a very smart man. He has a PhD. He's run many multi-million dollar businesses in the airline industry. And I tell you that because when I ask him, though, about when his plane crashed and he died, he had this near-death experience, did he see Jesus? He couldn't even hold it together. It was such a powerful experience. Listen to what he said. Did you, did you see Jesus? Later, I did. That was the last thing that happened after going through the city and asking questions and going through at the very last moment, I had been ushered closer and closer toward the light, toward the light, toward the light. The light that's in the center, center of the city. Yeah, and then there was a stairway that was near the glass sea which it looked like a sea and a stairway that went up and a large angel with the most uh, power, if we would say that. And it was clear that he was basically in charge of that stairway. And uh, I be just began to communicate uh, to this angel heart to heart. Again, it's hard to say, did we talk? It seemed like it, but then it seemed like we didn't. This communication was was just impeccably pure. And I began to recognize I can't go up there. I can't go up. I, I can't go up and still go back. And I was thinking, go back. Go back? What, what, what do we mean? What's that mean? And as soon as I'm thinking, go back, the angel moved just to the side. But I looked into the eyes of the warmest, kindness, most wonderful. I knew this was the Son of God. I knew this was my Savior. And all of a sudden, my knees buckled. My legs lost their strength. And I just went down. I couldn't stand. Mm -hmm. I, was, I was not worthy to <sighs> I was not worthy to stand in his presence. Funny that I didn't feel worthy to be in heaven, yet I knew I was worthy in the early part. I was somehow given this, granted this authority, but I had this supernatural uh, gift that I was worthy. Somebody had done something for me. He had. Yes. And so I'm down on my just falling down and I see his feet and I grab them and I hold his feet and I see the scars <laughs> and I know this is the Son of God. He's my Savior. He's my Lord. It is because of him. He died for everybody. It's so cool because the Bible even says, no, I just take that back. Jesus said that uh, I have come not to condemn the world, but that the world through me will be saved. And it was because of that. He was, he's not condemning anybody. It doesn't matter what you've done in your life, what sins you've done, including murder. It doesn't matter what you've done. All of it is, re, is forgivable. God can forgive anybody of anything. And then we have this free gift that we call salvation, you and I know about. And that's what you felt and at his of feet. Course, like. I just, but to describe this experience, I just stopped at his feet and, and I was worshiping him in, down on the ground there. And I heard the voice, Dale, do you love me? <laughs> that's it. Do you love me? And I'm trying to think of all these words to say. And I'm getting ready to say, in a sense, I'm getting ready to say, but I've said nothing. And I'm getting ready to say, of course I love you, Lord. I remember who you are and what you do. I'm getting ready to say that. And he bends down and whispers into my ear. And I'm now back. <laughs> 